YouTube hello. Uh, today we are returning to Parasite Eve. It's a game that I started playing when I first booted up Twitch a year ago. We're at my you know we're at a year anniversary of me streaming on Twitch now, and I thought what a good opportunity for me to bring back Parasite Eve. Um, we're starting a new game today, uh, and hopefully we're gonna finish it because after all it's spooky season, and what better. Uh, type of game for spooky season that's some survival good old survival horror so we're gonna get into it uh youtube remember to do those things that youtube likes for you to do remember to uh like comment subscribe all that good stuff remember now you can join the discord and uh thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in just a little bit okay bye bye so let's just start oh yeah Oh yeah, that's right, it plays it twice. Cool, here comes the opening. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, don't worry. Hey, you guys didn't miss anything. It's just me like fumbling with the sound like, a, like an old man. I'm an old man and I don't know how things work. And I was fumbling with the sound. But we're here now. We're here. We're playing Paris. Fusion happens. There will be fusion. Don't worry, Chad. I'm letting this whole thing play out just because it rules. The music is so good. Did you guys know? Did you know? Uh, the person who did the music in this game also did the music for Kingdom Hearts. Not like the pop song parts of Kingdom Hearts, but all the other music in Kingdom Hearts it was done by uh, the same predictive composer. Um, but I always thought that was, I was like, oh, that checks out. That checks out. Uh, all right. Well, let's play through just because this is the ideal version of the game is when you play it with the you gotta you gotta see the opening thing and then it'll go the worst foe lies within the self parasite eve okay um There it goes. Uh, continue. Hey, our old file is there. Our old file is there, but we're starting a new one. So those of you that are uh, YouTube, especially, um, we did play this last year. I was before I was uploading stuff to YouTube before the archive was archiving on YouTube, um, and I goofed up. I goofed up the run, and we basically soft locked and couldn't finish. However, that is not the case. We're going to actually finish it this time around. As always, let me let me know, you guys, if there are any issues with the sound. If my dumb voice is too loud or if the game is too quiet or too loud, let me know. What's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Right? 
I remember this dude's like a big douche. <laughs> Name Ayabrea. Age 25. Occupation NYPD officer. All right. Uh, this is if you want to change your name. We're not going to do that. Her name is Aya. Aya Brea is a cool name. That's her name. I don't know. I just, you're right. I'll try and be more, have more fun. Aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad give us the best seats for us tonight. So lighten up. You're going to have a great time. You'll see. I doubt that. All right, let's remember the controls. Okay, so it's a D-pad game because it's a PlayStation 1 game. And then we move. We can walk and run. I'm just going to go inside and ignore this uh, douche canoe <laughs> in here. I, I'll i be honest. Like, this is essentially... I... Uh, my formative gaming years were in this era of gaming where everybody everybody looked like this. <laughs> so this is, I feel right at home. I feel right at home. Um, chat and YouTube, uh, if you think this is cool, you should talk about Parasite Eve on social media and stuff. Because God... This, this needs to come back. Um, Prince, father, please give me the permission to marry Ava. I forbid it. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Okay. The play is happening. I don't know if you guys remember. There is a play. Um, and she is evil. Father, if you're sentencing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. I, uh, it's so wild to me. This is like a PlayStation 1 game, and it's got, like, the, the sound is crazy on this game. It's just absolutely bonkers bananas. These FMVs, dude. Ah, these FMVs. Oh, oh lord. Oh no. Oh my hot dog fingers, no! See, if things like this would happen, I would be it'd, be, it'd be fun for me to go to the theater, I think. I, I'm just not a, I'm not a, it's so, so scary, so much fear. All the fear. Uh, hello, my friend, welcome. Aya! Uh, chat, wait, it's, it's our favorite part. It's our favorite part from last time. Ready? Jesus, I don't want to. Oh my God! I, uh... Go, get out of here now. I just repeat my exact motions from before. All right. Um, you guys don't mind. So I'm gonna be. Here's the part where I tell you this. Full disclosure, chat. Full disclosure. I do have a walkthrough up. 
So uh, there is no need to provide me with clues or hints. There is a walkthrough. There is a walkthrough up, so I know what's going on. Uh, I also have played this already, and there there are people in here that will attest to, yes, I watched Arch play this already. He wasn't very good at it, but he wants to try it again. All right. Freeze, NYPD. Huh. You're the only one who seems to be fine. What? <laughs> you should be awakening soon. What, what are you talking about? Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. All right, uh, this is a boss fight, if I remember. I believe it's this button. Yeah, all right. Which button is? Oh, she's good. Oh, God. Just remembering things. Okay, I have to like go here, right? Right. What's happening? My body. It's getting hot. Just as I thought. There's like a button I can go to equip stuff. I think I need to do that out of combat. Uh, what is this? What did you do to me? So, yeah, this game has, um, the way that this game works is that you can move around during combat. Um, And when you go to like select what you're gonna do, uh, everything freezes so you can set up and do stuff. Um, I don't think I have, I can do anything with like the parasite energy or anything like that. Um, which is that PE there. Uh, our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you'll become like me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? I love... Aya in this game is just like, what? What's happening? What? Well, what is this? It's washed out. I can't see anything. What was that? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. All right, so that was... Okay, there it is. It's, uh... Okay, triangle takes us to the menu. Square leaves, X selects. Uh, okay, so we've got we've got a gun. We don't have anything to change here. I'm trying to remember which how to. Oh yeah, I can do that, and then okay. Uh, set user preferences. Well, all right, that was glitchy. Um. But yeah, that's the that's the, how the game works. It's pretty. Fun fact, uh, I didn't open this fucking box when we played the first time. I walked right by it. Oh, that's right back here again. That's how stages work, right? Um, I think she went in the hole. I know she's down there. Since my backup arrives, I'm going to jump down. 
my backup has arrived. I don't know that came out. That tumbled out of my mouth. Just lands. She's got like tw she's got like fourteen inch heels on. Just whatever. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Look how high her heels are. And she's like running, jumping, climbing trees. Um, so I think what we should do, that girl, it couldn't be. So I think what we should do is equip the club here. And save some ammo. No, I don't want to do that. Perfect. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. I barely even need this walkthrough. Oh. Oh, it's gonna get spooky again, chat. Body horror, guess what? This is not a game for you. Oh, I missed. You, you dick. There it is. Wham! Um, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, uh. Everything about this game, it's, it's all a body horror game. Um, they get into why. Yo, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What's going on here? Um, all right, go right first, if I remember correctly. Ah, here, take it. Take everything that's all on the counter. Don't scare me with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You have to evacuate. How did this guy not hear the the floating opera lady uh, Kool-Aid man through the ceiling. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. I'll see ya. Um, but he fucking dies immediately. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna rub up against the lockers here. See if any of them open. Open with nothing inside, of course. Oh, oh, oh! Just almost shoved myself in a locker. All right, good. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should take that clown in for questioning because he had bullets. There are bullets in the locker room here. So, uh, one of the things that I kind of remember about this game from when we played before is that it's very, like, finicky about, like, the, like an item is here. Like, there will be a place where the item is, and you have to find that spot exactly, which is part and parcel why we have the guide open. So that, fuck, that's right. Hello, beef jerky men. I wonder if Eve has been here. Uh, I 
That's that's what Eve's power is, is that she can turn uh, people into beef jerky. Which, if you think about it... Ugh. Hey, bud. You're still alive. Hold on, let me call paramedics. Melissa, she's a monster. I'm trying to talk now. Melissa? Melissa? You mean the main actress? She probably got to Suzanne, too. You have to stop her. No, please, wake up. Hang in there. No, she turned me into... She turned me into a fruit by the foot, man. That's everything in this room. Can we talk to the other jerky? No. Alright. I think we have to fight the rat again, right? Is the rat gonna show up? That's locked. It's this one, I think. Yep, there it is. Oh, doesn't she have the bird? Oh, the bird. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. Chest over behind. Yep. That's it. Is this a key? I like how I, uh, the gun is just, like, you know, duct taped to my hand here. So, like, this is what I'm talking about. I'm like, answering machine, answering machine. Better notify the department about what's happened here. Will you save your progress? Yes. So this is how you save. You save with telephones. Uh, but here we are, day three. We're at. We're gonna save over it though. We're saving over it. It's okay. Cause this one's gonna be better. We're gonna do a better job. this if it makes a bird fly out or something or something <laughs> oh shit okay what is this what did that say oh hot hot help help i think that just means that there's gonna be a zombie parrot later or like a monster parrot later remember I'm remembering ah the rats are back oh and I'm like nightstick lady I don't want to have the nightstick about this game is that um, there are encounters but they kind of just they they always happen in the same spot so like when you're grinding in this game if you're level grinding you kind of just double back and walk over the same area and the same enemies will spawn up oh, there's the clown Yep, that's that clown from the dressing room. Uh, he's dead. Um, all right, so grab this. There's a Moogle from Final Fantasy in the corner, though. Huh? No? Uh -huh. Sorry, chat. Hold on. Alright. Uh, I think I can. 
That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. I missed this last time. Can you believe it, chat? Can you believe that I missed... I missed something in a game? Oh, look at that. That's so much better. I'm also, you know what? I'm gonna grab my gun instead of the club, just because I think the enemies are gonna get harder. I'm so excited to be playing this again, chat. Especially with like the, especially knowing uh, that, um, like having more knowledge about how the game works and actually like looking into like what I need to do. This way, there's a chest. Oh, what is what it what is it? What? Your inventory is full, we replaced an item. Oh, well hold on. Hold on. I'm a I'm a dummy. Cause this is Yeah, you just wanna you just use these. Yeah, you get those like and or defense plus one or attack plus ones, and you should just use them. Oh no, rats and birds! Oh, see, yeah, uh, now like there's just like shit flying around everywhere. This is where it gets a little hectic because you're like you have to like dodge around so one of the things that I learned from our last blazer chat which if you can believe it I didn't do a great job of that I learned is uh, you don't want your your items to have uh, a lot of shots if it's not a lot of damage because damage degrades um, so like if this if the pistol is normally supposed to do a set amount of damage and it it, it normally shoots twice um, usually it's it splits it even but if like I modified because that's the thing you can do in this game is modify your weapons if I modify this weapon um the uh what happens is um the uh the game will I can put more shots in it essentially and uh if I do that if I do that uh it splits that damage up over more shots meaning that shots just start doing less damage um Alright, so we went in there. We have to keep going down this way now. That's not the first. I think it's this one though. I do remember this part pretty well. Uh, I think the bird is going to attack me. Also. Everyone's got... Why does everyone have ammo in there? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really excited to be playing this. I really liked this game before. It was, it was definitely, like, a bummer. When, uh, like, realizing that I had, like, kind of soft-locked us out of it. 
Read the book, Aya. There we go. A diary. Uh, November 3rd, Monday, the Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all that medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. Even if I, s I would sell, I will even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. Uh, November 17th, Monday, the cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. November 21st, Friday. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever for some reason. I'd better take more medicine. November 6th, Sat or December 6th, Saturday. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through the show. December 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. Woke up with a popsicle stick in my mouth. Uh, they told me to get go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I better take a lot of medication tonight. Uh, December 11th, Thursday. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Is it because I wanted the parts of that? God, forgive me. December 17th, Wednesday. Looks like I'll be the lead. Better take more medication and work. Better take more bed. Better swallow more pills. Uh, December 23rd, Thursday, opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Show our biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park, but I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medicine. Chat, do you think maybe the medicine is not good? Uh, for what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Another key. Rehearse key. All right. So we got that. Uh, let's dig around in here. I'm sure there's... I'm going to get attacked in here, I think. More fucking ammo. Everyone's packing heat at this... Uh... Can I open this? I feel like I could open this, right? Come on, Aya. Come on, Aya. It's hard to know if it's just like I can't interact with it or if it's just the game being finicky. Okay, so now... All right, I think we move. Let's let's go ahead. We have medicine. Let's, oh, that's like that heals like what? Forty five? Is that what it said? Okay, we don't need that. Let's go. The fucking atmosphere in this game is so good. I'm Alyssa. I'm no, I'm ah uh, ah. Uh, I am I am Eve. Ah, uh, and I'm I'm getting hot. Nucleic domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? I like that what? What? Yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> once again. The day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived. Ah. All right, so if I remember, she like shoots two beams at you, and you want to try and like be in the middle. Yeah, eat shit, lady. close. Give me some room to breathe, Melissa. Eve. Melissa Eve. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria? What are you saying? I don't understand you. I love, I fucking love Aya. 
Aya reacts like people are supposed to react in these scenarios. What? Where is this? Is that is that the little girl I saw? No, it's a white man. <laughs> the doctor. Wait. Mitochondria to be free? Maybe she left something behind. Just this big fart stain. Where'd she go? Um. Okay. Uh. Right, we jump down in here. Right. Did I miss the Christmas lad? Not yet. We're not. We're not quite at Christmas lad yet. Um. All right. So I think we're gonna get hit by a thing. Cody, welcome to the stream. Oh, it's Rat City. Get out of here, man. Whoa. Okay, that. I almost dodged that. That was almost cool. Uh, this is, uh, but I really like the combat system in this. It, uh, it reminds me of, like, uh, Chrono Trigger, which is a game that I like, but I would probably never play on stream because of its fan base. <laughs> um, this is a lot of, it'd be like when I played Secret of Mana, there were a lot of people trying to tell me how to play the game. All right. Um, let me see here. Yeah, the frog. Oh, I forgot about the fucking frog. Ugh. I don't remember how the frog attacks you. Oh my god. Alright. I remember he has more health than the fucking frog. Yeah, that's, that's how he attacks. I, I remember now. Shoot your butt. Level up. Parasite power step evolved. God. I think that's supposed to be scan. <laughs> Analyzes enemies each free and weakness. Uh, this is my parasite powers. I forgot how to access that. Scar. Use PE. This might be, um, this might look this way because I did some, uh, I did some tweaking of the graphics to make them better, and sometimes that messes with the, uh, the text, so. All right, new gun. If I, if I remember correctly, this one is way better. Um, some people, I, I want to say this, this first gun, um, some people use this gun that they grab here in the sewer for the rest of the game. Um, you're the little girl that's in the theater. Are you lost? No. Well, look, there's a chest there. Thank kid for showing me where the chest was. So yeah, there's a chest here. So yeah, I have been practicing practicing this game uh, off screen when I'm not playing Baldur's Gate, because um, that's all I do now is I play Baldur's Gate. There's, I think oh here he is right over here. There's another chest. Mm. Let's go around. 
Just like super, there it is. Your inventory is full. Will you replace an item? Yes. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. We keep all the fucking keys. I don't need this. The, cool. I got a medicine. And I think right across, there's another one here. up button. And then I can go... Perfect. Uh, where am I? Oh, here I am. There's, there's secret stuff on the floor. Okay. Made it. <laughs> Could I just saw your skull up? Two frogs in here, I think, right? Yeah. Ugh, I remember I remember being like very unhappy with this fight. Yeah, suck shit, frogs. Yeah, but you so you notice how when I shoot, the first shot does nine and the other ones do like two or three. It's because, like, the damage degrades over shots, so you don't want to have, like... Oh, that time I got crits, so it didn't matter, but... Um, you don't want to have more than, like, three or three shots, because stuff starts to not do as much damage. Uh... Um, I need the phone because I can save. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of, of, of silly text. Of silly text here. Okay, that opens the gate. Oh, Eve! I got another gun. I'm going to get to bullet you. Hold it right there. My body. My body's getting hot again. Ah, I was ready to take me on just by yourself. Well, if you did have more people with you, they'd just burn, right? Everyone else but you. You are... Tell me, Eve. Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. Eventually. So very hot. Even if you don't understand, <laughs> change again, baby. <laughs> Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will, will. They've always known. Uh, I'm gonna give you some time, some time to think and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. You think she's just gonna leave us alone? Oh, she I like her noodle arms while she's and she gives you a big goober oh so hot body's getting so hot No. Uh, I love the sewer alligator is like. Yeah. I want to say when we, the first time we played this, somebody's like, oh, she made a Pokemon. There are two targets. Yeah, it's, I think you want to shoot the tail. Yeah, okay, I remember now. 
I remember this fight. Yeah, he, he slashes the tail. And it makes, uh, like, this wave come out. That's right, yeah. I remember this. They go, like, this way. Yeah, away from the waves. Oh, sure. Oh, I can't move. I'm, like, trapped. I'm gonna have to heal. Oh, I'm okay. I'm not alright. Oh, uh, well, I was alright. Now I'm in. How do I. Here it is. Magic powers activate! Uh. Shit. Uh. Okay. Where are these going? Okay. That. That's a. Ah, for Ka! Game over. Womp womp. Archla, Archla, Archla rip. <laughs> In there. We did save, though. We did save, though. Oh, God, look at that graphic. <laughs> look at this. Stop. Stop. All right. Um, I also have to remind myself that I have, like, a thousand potions to use. And I don't need to hoard them. I don't need to hoard the potions. Eve, stop right there. Yep, yeah, she's getting hot, chat. She's getting hot again. She's getting hot again, chat. Mitochondria, we, we did just see this. Yep, 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 yep. Let me fight the fucking Shaka Dial over here. He has like he has another phase after you take you shoot his tail enough. He's not too hard. I just need to like not get myself cornered. There's two targets. Alright, yeah, so like we dart in so that he swings the tail, right? And then he does that, I run the side, bap 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 bap. You just don't want to get trapped in the corner like I was. Like, that's a big issue. Yeah, see, run up. Yeah, he charges. Because he's a jerk. Oh, fake me out. No beams. scared and I run into it. Oh, that one. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that, game. Or actually, let me just use one of these because it'll heal more health. That's like the one thing about the combat system that I don't super love in this is like it's really easy, especially in this fight in particular. It's really easy to get like 
pinned down so that he can, like, spam shit on you like this. I think the tail is dead. Yeah, okay. Uh, I need to heal again. Don't be afraid of healing. Yeah, I think the tail is, is not an issue anymore, but now he's gonna shoot. Shoot some lasers! He's using hyper beam. Miss, 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 perfect. He was like facing the wrong direction. Can he still tail whip me or is his tail not playing anymore? Oh. Oh boy, move, get out of there. Yeah, this boss isn't too hard. I remember I had some trouble with it at first because of like the, the area, like it's a hallway. Hallways in this, this game in hallways is rough. Because, like, especially if there's, like, multiple enemies and stuff, you can get pinned down and, like... But again, it's a cool... It's a cool system. Yeah! Hell yeah, dude. All right. Level six. We got a best... Just tell me what you want, Eve. I has no time for this shit. We're here live in front of Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible, orde horrible ordeal, correct? I... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. Please, just leave me alone. This incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and interview you exclusively. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure Daniel punches him here, but let's wait. <laughs> Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. No, he's serious. He dropped the scram. Daniel. Sorry, I'm late, Aya. Uh, Aya, are you okay? This is really something that happened back there. Oh, yes. Oh, but my date. Heard from a cop, your boyfriend ran out of here like a wuss. Ha 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 ha. Uh, so sorry, your date didn't go well. It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. Ha. So why the opera, huh? Is that an in thing right now? I saw an ad in the paper. I don't know. It just caught my eye. Don't tell me you were on the you were onto this case. <laughs> so you feel like I got some cop instinct in you, huh? instinct. Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. His son is uh, Little Lord Christmas, by the way. If you guys are in the chat, you're like, we saw Cody be like, who's Little Lord Christmas? He's coming up. Uh, he knows his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change the subject, I heard things from people who were there. It was one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria. Mitochondria? Symbiosis? I was in the hospital? These, like, little car interlude scenes are so cool, by the way. Uh, oh, hey, Aya, you asleep? Oh, I don't blame you after what you've been through tonight.
Oh, yeah, the PlayStation 1, baby. Oh, it all started with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror. But. But. Those are six days filled with familiar memories. Oh, yes. Day two. Fusion. Save progress? Yes. Excuse me. Man, just a safety save, because you know how I do it. Hey, are you okay? You ought to be resting. Wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. I've been gathering up some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives, no close friends. She was sick often, always on some kind of medication. People at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on the stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. So what's all the spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. Oh, come on. What, like one of them ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. But if you're right, how are we, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, I was the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you better ask Baker for a better sidearm. Well, uh, I read your report. It's so hard to believe. We can't deny all those deaths. We're going to go all out to solve this case. Make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department. Give this permit to Torres, and he'll help you out. All right. I really love the music in this game. Can I leave? Can you let me go? Okay. Uh, do we go this way? better. Oh. Uh, light and durable with the, the end. For, we got the KV vest. So KV vest. Oh, that, that's the one with the auto heal. Did you? It's right downstairs. Look, I played this game a year ago. Man, I'm, I don't. I barely remember what happened last week. Alright, we go downstairs. Uh. Aya, the door. Aya, the door. There he is. Let me talk to these guys. Hey there, good looking. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? That baldy, who knows? So what'll it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? Wayne! Yes, sir. Yeah, 
idiots like you are the reason why guns won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling the guns in here. All right, all right, sheesh. Torres, I need some equipment. The last night's case, heard it was quite a mess. But as long as the cop, as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you, but I guess this is on your ordinary crook. I can't send you off empty-handed. So you can't carry any more equipment. Wait and take some of her things and put it in storage. Somebody say, officer? No, sir. So you want to leave something here? Yeah. Um. So we don't need these anymore. Uh... Yeah, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. Yo, all right. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Doink. All right, which gun? All right, so this is the modding thing. So, like, um... Come back with a modification permit because you need to tune up your equipment. Okay, so you use that to make changes to your guns. Uh, don't tell Taurus. You can use your tool to tune up your guns. Rearrange equipment parameters and add effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. Tune-up icon! All right. By using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects from your weapon or armor to create customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots on the equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified in the weapons department. Okay. So this is where I lost my way the last time we played. I made a gun I made a gun worse on accident. Um so uh and then he'll take stuff from us. Let's store um, let's store that. Let's store, no. Let's store the stuff we're not using. I don't know if this end protector is good or not. Uh, right. So we got a tool. I believe there's a, there's a there's more chests in here to open up. Yeah, there's like this guy right here. Um. So essentially, yeah, like if I let me show you real quick. I'm not gonna do it, but I'll show you. Look at the guns, right? We have this and this. Um, so like this does quite a bit of more damage uh, than the handgun. But it, see, it's got two slots. So it's got fires twice and another slot. Um, from here, you can... Uh, Add effects. So there will be things like elemental damage later, or like armor piercing and stuff. Like, it's a pretty deep system that I immediately goofed up in our last playthrough, and I'm not gonna do it again. Here he is, chat! Chat! It's Little Lord Christmas! The Christmas lad! Hey there, are you lost? Ah, uh, Ben? Daddy! I don't know why I'm doing it. I've been watching a lot of like old wrestling and I'm thinking like Dust Road. It's like, Daddy! <laughs> uh, so this is Ben. Ben? Ben, this is Hyatt. Now, what are you doing here? Happy holidays from Little Lord Christmas. Here, tickets? Oh, yeah, the concert. Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make up for the fine. Ben! <laughs> These runs on a long haul. 
Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father, too, after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. And then I accidentally skipped what Dan said, but it's probably sad about us not having a wife anymore. Um, cool. Uh, right, so we gotta go back to the chief. Sir? Look at this big old JPEG in the corner. <laughs> Are you looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But you won't you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. It may even turn you into a suspect, so you let me do the talking, understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. If I remember, this goes bad. Like a lot of other things in this game, this goes bad. So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? Uh, that's what we currently speculate. How about the accounts of officers and firemen at the scenes bursting into flames? That was, that was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical, which was used to start the fire. Another question. Then how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? That is the result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. She... She said that my mitochondria were a mutation. There was a... God damn it. I, uh... Your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa. No, she said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body's been taken over by this Eve. What's this Eve? Some kind of alien? People, please. She's very tired and we are still investigating. That'll be all for today. I'm about to kick her ass up and down the police station for this. I, uh, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. Wham. That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Oh, no. The media is on the phone. Baker here. Who? What does he want? I'll put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Meet? We'll have to speak up. Yes? What? All right. Telephone. Some Japanese scientist, I think. I couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mito something. Says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing from the cell that makes energy from oxygen? I believe you mean the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, I might have heard about that in school. You know, that's what Eve said. He said it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. I just heard that for no reason. I just heard that. Sir, I'm taking Aya to go talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before that. Me the be get there before the media. Let me explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Get in the car, Aya. I think we're getting the map screen, chat. I'll bring the car around. Meet me out front. Aren't you going to leave? I just, you know what, there's just something about, like, this particular style of game. Like, the like the graphics, and so, like, these pre-rendered, uh, let's save real quick. Safety save. Like, these pre-rendered backgrounds are just, like, they just hit different. You know? They just hit different. I'm sure if they brought this series back and they remade it, it would look beautiful, and it would be great looking. But this just, I don't know, something about this, just like the kids say, chat, it hits different. Just hits different.
Oh, the map. Yeah. Oh, this rule. <laughs> this is very cool. Uh, we want to go to the museum. We get another car scene, which is also cool. A lot of cool things in this game. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp? What's this area of research? Well, according to the papers, he's working on a new theory. Mitochondria is something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd. Took a PhD and be working in a museum. But it's pretty antisocial. Doesn't like to waste time outside of research. Ah, oh, great. We're gonna have a grand old time with this one. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? The way she's saying that, like, it's very, it feels very earnest. <laughs> like, why do you do it? Daniel? Why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Chat, you'll have to excuse me for a second. It's getting a little warm in here. I'm not trying to entice you or anything. I'm just, it's, it's warm. American Museum of Natural History. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Dinosaur exhibit. Love these things when I was a kid. Oh, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what the security guard can do for us. The snow sound. That's cool. What a cool game. Hey there, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Pretty cold day, though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. Looking for a Dr. Clamp? He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you. It shouldn't take long. You'll find him in the research lab on the second... Wow, that gate opening. Jesus. You'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. He's been pretty busy for the past few weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, could you sign in? It's a policy. Let's keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter. Thank you. Oh, there's the save. Uh, It's like, he, where? Oh, God. Is that it? Aya. Just my name? Yup, that should be enough. Unless you want to leave your number, too. Careful, dude. You'll get punched, too. Um. We just saved, but that was a kind of... That was sort of a long sequence. We don't want to do all that again. Let's save again. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, we don't want to do all that noise again with the uh, car ride and that creaky-ass gate opening here. Hey, Aya. Over here. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Let's jump right in. Excuse me, hello? Hey, Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. 
I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Exclamation points. What the? This again? What is this? This man. This man. I know him, I think. What's wrong? Are you okay, Aya? Yeah. We'd like to ask you about your the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Uh, why are you interested in my work? Maybe I should just make him talk like Skeletor. Look, we all know this guy's bad. We all know he's not a good dude. Now, the suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you... That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since she mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Excuse me, with some info. Haha, <laughs> no! You two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. Do you? The mitochondria possess its own unique genetic code. Its own. Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something, huh? <laughs> would that would that make her Parasite Eve? Do you think that would make her Parasite Eve? Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. They cannot live without the mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interaction between axons and dendrites. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Do you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. It is, in fact, the powerhouse of the cell. You are correct. Uh, heat? Oh, she's getting hot again, chat. Uh, then the combustions from last night were for a human to burn and melt. 1,600 degrees of heat must be generated. There are several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released, melting a human into a puddle of fluid. It would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that mito mitochondria ignited these people. Professor, you may be right in that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Nah, you have no idea! The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, the hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. This is when the cells which you make up the body aren't needed anymore. It receives a signal to die. That signal is initiated by the mitochondria. Like a rogue mustache hair and it's like coming up into my nose and it's making me crazy uh, when it's relayed the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and in the in essence dies same can be said for aging the mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells of course this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well when too many mutant mitochondria multiply energy production level decreases the decrease in energy production is associated with the aging process. So, are you saying we stu we're, are you still stupid? Okay. So, are you still stupid enough to say we are the highest species? You're not saying the mitochondria is doing all of this consciously, right? And I said that the mitochondria could mutate ten times faster than normal cells. I also meant they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise that they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientists wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. 
1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name, just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve. Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. No, I don't think I will. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. Punch him like you punched that reporter. All right. Back to the NY pit. The hell is he gonna like how crazy he's driving right now? He is going 500 miles an hour <laughs> in in downtown New York. He's on. He's he is he is cruising right now. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with this guy? I can't stand him. Makes me want to drive real crazy. <laughs> uh, that man, I've seen him before, but I can't place where. I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? Okay, we'll be right there. All right, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We got to get back to the station. Hang on, I'm kicking it. Into it's already too fast. How much faster are you going to go, my dude? through this a lot faster than we did the first time we were playing this. Oh my god. Look at this Pepe Silvia board behind them. <laughs> Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She had disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was cancelled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben in the rain. Oh, yeah, his wife's not dead. They're just divorced. I forgot. They're at the concert. What? Daniel, we're not through yet. My son's there. Okay, we gotta go get him. We gotta go get Dan. We gotta go get Daniel. We gotta go get Ben. We gotta get little. We gotta save little Lord Christmas. Watch his back. Yes, sir. Ooh, another mod permit. Yeah, I don't think I have anything to, like I want to. Because the mod permit lets me. Yeah, if I go here, will they give me something? I don't remember what the mod permit does. I need to be mindful of like shit like this like so the tools let me move parameters what does the mod permit do when are you gonna let me tune up the guns i didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day you know as long as you see guns as toys you'll never touch them hey i know i can make a stronger gun than you guns aren't supposed to be stronger you numb skull they're supposed to be safer fine you geezer 
Boy, hey chat, don't think too hard about this, okay? Just let... Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene. That goes for you too. You can never be too careful with a gun. I do. Which gun? Okay, I don't... Oh, I can add slots. That's... Okay, cool. Let's do that. Give me a slot, please. That's what the mod permit does. Mod permit lets me add a slot. Tools let me move, like, skills from weapons around. Perfect. Just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let guns own you. Yeah, cool. So that's got another slot now. That's pretty cool. Um, but I guess we should go save Little Lord Christmas. I should not procrastinate. Or what, Cody, would you come to Holiday Land when you first came in? Where's the Holiday Land? We need to do some more crazy driving. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this music's so good. A good fucking game. What the hell does Melissa look Eve want from us? Well, it looks like she wants to gather people into one big area. Damn! I think she's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. All right, we're going to Central Park, right? Yeah, Central Park. Ben! Daniel, stop. Stop! You gotta go get my boy, rookie. Ah! Whoa. Oh no, he's feeling hot now, chat. Sometimes you gotta look before you leave, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. No, uh, he's the only family I got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. You can you can sit in the car and get ready to drive. But, but I'll get him out safe, I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. All right, I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. All right. Central perk. Man. I need... So I collect horror movie vinyls. And I've branched out into collecting horror video game like soundtracks on vinyl. I have a few of the Castlevania soundtracks. Um, I really want to get this game soundtrack on vinyl. I think that would be great. All right. Uh... I see a treasure chest there. Oh, a s snake. It's a snake in New York in winter. Oh, there's a hundred there's more snakes. Jeez. Get a get away from me. Christ. Uh, 
Oh, I think I need any more points than that. Okay. I remember that. But I think I also used those incorrectly. Alright. That's right, we're in the Central Park Zoo. There's a lot of random battles in the middle here. This is like a good grinding area. Oh, I need to heal. Shit. So this is a fun thing. Uh, the junk that I just picked up, apparently if you can get like 300 and something pieces of junk, um, you can, uh, uh, you can give it to that guy, uh, one of the guys in the, um, the, the weapon locker area and he'll make like a very good weapon for you. Crispy man. Excuse me. This is the area here. Uh, I believe it's pretty notorious. Like if you don't click in the exact right spot, you don't get an item. Yeah, this is key. I watched a video of somebody playing this and like they had just they were like I did I could not find the key I was walking around I was walking around there was no key um, I believe yeah you can get this cabinet open by like moving the stretcher like I said Chad I've been studying stretcher where you can move it. Yeah, just hurl it out of the way. Your inventory is full. Alright, so I need to use an item. Do I have anything I can pop off right now? Oh, I have another mod permit. Uh, I guess I could do this, right? I don't really have anything to, like, Tune up though. I have the auto healing vest. Which, so I got this one, this one. 20, 22, 15, 19. Okay, that one's better. So what if we did. Let me remember, you click on that. I think you go. Okay, that's 
that's okay. I see what you do. So if I click on no, I click on this, and then I can click on that. And then I can add auto heal to it. Another gun. Uh, I think that's a grenade launcher. Is that a grenade? Is that a grenade launcher? It is a grenade launcher. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, cool. Can you believe that, chat? The first time we played this, I missed the whole ass grenade launcher. Right? These are monkeys, I think, or the walk the walk cycle. A little funny. Yeah, they throw like their boomerang arm. Yeah. So I think the move, yeah, in this particular area, the the birds drop junk. Which you can use to like get a good item later, but it's also just a good place straight up where to fight stuff. So, all right, we're going here with the Zuki now, right? Yeah. Oh, is it snakes? Shh. Where am I gonna go? There's snakes. At least I didn't get poisoned. I think only the big snakes can poison you. Ow. Leveled up again. Look at that. Alright, so I think now I can go into... One, we need to use medicine. Two, uh, we... I think now we can use bonus points because we have over a hundred. So like I can use the bonus points to either make active time go faster, increase my carrying capacity, or I can make my weapons do more damage. So like I have this. I can make that better. So now that does more damage. Um, Need that. Uh, what's what's in the crate, my man? Um, some medicine on in there. Ah, the poison cure. Probably want that. You can see us. Um, defense plus two. Oh my god, let's use that. Alright, so we're using this one with the auto heal. Let's use that, and then we can grab our medicine from here. Might trigger snakes again over here. Nope, okay. Yeah, I missed so much shit when we played this last time, chat. I'm like... Chest. Oh, a fight! What are we fighting? Oh, birds and monkey. Uh, 
Just watch out for birds. Watch out for the fucking boomerang arm. This way first to grab some stuff. I have some wait, hold on. Do I have anything I can just pop off and use right now? We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff of uh, bullshit in here. There we go. Just gotta make sure we have room in our inventory for stuff because we're about to pick up things. Are these snails? We, I think I remember these guys being snails or something. We, I googled it last time that they were snails. Oh my god. Hey, dudes, what the fuck? There we go. Yeah, the range. The range is pretty intense. Parasite powers evolved. Detox. Now we can get rid of poison. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Go down here. I, get, I better get attacked by enemies here. Oh, yes. This way. here again is the way that the encounters work yep called it will it be two birds and a monkey though again three birds and a monkey uh three bird uh not quite as famous a song as three bird ow i have that automatic heal thing on uh get out bird Hey, you know what? It's cool. We're using our items at least. Kind of wish I could, like, I had a little more space to move around. Uh, the other thing that's kind of dumb is uh, if you kill something, the game doesn't just automatically target another enemy. It'll just, uh, like... End your turn. There we go. We have four items. All right, 
we got we're on the board with junk we're on the board with junk um That will recharge, so that's fine. Alright, I want to save up our medicine. and bird. Okay. Snakes over there. We're gonna move. Just please. <laughs> no. It's good that I got my mitochondria powers back, so I'm definitely gonna heal after this. Fills up separate slots. I forgot about that. Not a big deal. Um, I think we go this way. There's a gate. Yeah. All the animals have escaped. Thanks, Aya. Very observant. I don't think I can get past this crispy dead man. Chat, I remember this. It's about to get gross. It's about to get pretty gross, chat. The holiday season brings joy to us all. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Especially because I will no longer be under control of a host, as I have since the dawn of time. Humans are weak. Mitochondria can self-evolve. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She doesn't have her big claw hand. Oh no! Ew, it's gonna get gooey. Oh, it's about to get gooey. Yo. I have to get backstage and stop her. I have to run over all these goos. All right, we have to go this way. Go this way? Where would I go? There we go. Nope, this leaves. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, this is where I have to go. This is where I have to go. The girl. Oh, do you think that's where backstage is? Eve, fight me. Why? 
Why are you doing this? You again, but you're too late. You'll not ruin my plans as you did last night. Nyah, nyah. Stop! Alright, uh... Alright. This, this is not an issue now. We can just walk right by this guy now. Yep. So I think you go up here. There's chests. Of course, they change the camera angle so you can't see anything. Can we get a camera angle shift? Okay. Oh, a fight. Oh, the polar bear. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. take the medicine because of all the junk. Alright. Save game. So we grab this chest. I think... I want to try and find the hidden chests in the pavilion. Because literally we saw there are chests in there. Just kind of click around. I know they're here. We saw them. We saw the thing. Right, like this, maybe? Click, 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 click. Maybe right here. Hey, that's one. Yeah, I would. Uh, I don't think I need the zoo key anymore. Yeah, I want that. I would like that, please. I would like the revive, please. There we go. And more ammo. Perfect. See, chat? Look, we just went back. We found it. Not a big deal. Um, I think we go through here. I didn't want to get rid of the zoo key yet because I didn't know. This way? I mean, the polar bear fight was fine. Let's use our parasite powers and heal. I think I remember that from last time. We went up there and it kind of led to nothing. chest right there. Can't hide that from me. Oh, 
Oh, another chest. Come on, I have it. Inventory is full. Oh, no. I don't know if we need the zoo key anymore. Ooh. So, check this out, right? I've got... I just got that, which has an inventory boost. Okay, a bear, and uh, that's gonna be unfortunate. Let's just get rid of the annoying enemy first. Oh! Good. That was... tool no I want the tool wait not the tool the junk yeah that's that's what I want yeah I want I would like the tool all right so we can go into body armor we've got this one automatically use the medicine when the HP is low that's great so we've got this one with the pockets to carry more Like, I can go into here. Um, there were two enough weapons. There. So now my, now my armor will auto heal me when I get low on health. And now I have more inventory space. Alright, I don't mind the, the snakes are not as scary as, like, honestly the birds are the worst. That's the grenade launcher. I don't do that. Hold on. <laughs> we want this. We want this weapon. Um, cool. Yeah, so I can put... Just do that in there. these immediately. There's no point not using this. Oh. Alright. See, I kind of remember this maze portion. And I remember there's like chests and stuff hidden along it. I know that, yeah, I know there's a chest here that has something remember seeing it last time. The path takes it up and around to it. Can you buy it? Thank you. Hell yeah. Follow the path. I think, I want to say, isn't like the boss we fight Eve on the We fight Eve like on the back of a on the back of a horse or something. If I remember correctly.
Whoa. At least there's room to move around on this battle screen. Oh, it's all it's all birds. Bad. Bad. I will say, um, one of the things I really like about this game is that like these bird enemies are like parrots or toucans. I think it's like it's kind of hard to see now. Like, oh wow, health a little low. Yeah, you know what? I I wanted to do the thing with the medicine. I thought that would be the junk. I thought that would be fun. But we we don't have any item slots uh, that they. Oh, I've healed two now. and the polar bear. Aren't I a lucky lady? Can I do my other attack, please? So what is the... Uh, I think... I don't know what the, the secret is for the polar bear here. Other than shoot the bejesus out of him. Hey, the auto heal! Sticking us with fights. Oh, two monkeys. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Jeez. At least these guys aren't like too tough anymore. Whoa. I, I, they, just, they hit you immediately. They just always hit you. The way I look at these monkeys is like if you're not just directly out of the way. I hope you have help. I hope you have help. I think our fucking mitochondria powers are already juiced back up, though, so, yeah. Um, I think we want to go between the stairs. If we go up the stairs, that takes us to Eve. Between the stairs is secrets. anything I want to move over because none of my weapons really have a lot of stuff but um, I think there's a boss now after this which is I think it's the worm boss and I remember that being uh, an absolute pain in the ass so we have a couple of medicines we do have the revive which will if we die will pick us up I kind of remember this being a, a pain in the ass. Oh!
right, look at that. Oh, that was a big level up. Okay, you know what? We don't need any of that. We're gonna heat we're gonna let's go right here. Uh let's let's use let's hold on to it actually. Let's save our progress. Because the the vest is gonna heal us automatically, so if we have medicine, it'll get used. If I remember, it's like the worms come out of the ground and they shoot little spikies at you. Yeah, the music chain. Ah, that's right. Ugh. Yeah, it's sort of like bullet hell. Oh, and then it healed us, yeah. Thank God for that body armor. stupid. Attack next round. We're gonna use. Okay, okay. No. We're gonna use our parasite powers to heal. That's more important. Ow, see, because that would have been a bad. That would have been bad. Alright, so he's gonna shoot that off. We're gonna move, run back. Shoot it. We're gonna get fucking wrecked. Holy shit. That should have killed us, by the by. We should not have survived that. Okay. This is definitely going a lot better than last time. Thank you, game, for being uh, for being nice and giving that one to me. That's great. Okay, get him. Oh, that's right. Look, hitting him once is still hitting him. Oh. Good, get him. One more left. Oh. Jesus Christ. Where is he? Oh, there you go. I don't think there's a good way around that that guy doing that. I go out here. Yeah, he can just hit me. That's not. Let's just go ahead and uh I don't have any medicine left, right? Because the vest. Oh I do have some. Okay. Nope. Can they can 
I go like here and not get hit? He did like 40 damage. Maybe I should use a... Oh no, I'll just auto heal. That's fine. Let's see. Alright, so he'll go that way. So maybe I like go over here in that... I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to do. We're getting shots off on him though. I don't think there's like a great way to dodge that. Unless it's like bait him here so he goes down. Yeah, that, that hits the whole thing. What, a, what do you want me to do, man? I know we have to fight Eve soon, but we also have boosted our defense by like six points. Yeah, it's the yeah, we fight her on top of the thing. That's right. Yeah, we have plus seven. Um Yeah, we can't really yeah, none of our weapons really have anything. Unless I want to make the machine guns shoot twice, which is kind of not, or like, incre yeah, we don't really have anything to like make this. All right, Eve. Stop. Get. Oh, I have to get in the carriage. Okay. Yeah, all right, Eve. Oh, no. This game. God, this is so cool. This game is so cool. Why? Why be on the human side? Because I'm a human, you, you dumb bitch. Um, why not? I'm a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are you gonna? Why are you going with them and not me? Jealous much? Jeez. What? Yeah. I love that Aya is always just like, what? All right. So there's not a lot of space to move. So I think like you just don't. I remember you have to like kind of hug the side. Oh, I, I ate that one for breakfast. I ate that one for breakfast. We'll just do a little healy, healy buddy here. And we'll just stay away from Eve. See if you get next to Eve, she swipes you. Damn it. Ugh. That's fine. We're ready for her now. 
Yeah, see the swipe to get close to her. Oh, reload. Oh. To heal again. Alright, where is that coming? Over here. It's so like. to the, the hands, right? Seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, you're mitochondrial. Well, that's why you were drawn to the opera. What are you talking about? Okay, let me explain directly. Stop it! Oh, I pass out. If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will stop! Shoot her more. Oh, I feel bad for the horse every time. I feel bad for that horse every time. Aya, Aya, answer me. I was sorry, Chad. I was thinking about. Oh, that's. I was thinking about Little Lord Christmas. I forgot about Little Lord Christmas. He's back, Dad. Ben, were you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she was she was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why he came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? She turned into goo, Dad. Dad, the lady in the red, the red lady, made Mom a goo. Uh, I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. She left. And everyone else went, too. Lorraine. No, not Lorraine. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Everyone leaves Manhattan. The entire population is getting out. Uh, unfortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and insist on in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? <laughs> we're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Anywhere from Aya? Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm going to go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost. He's lost the rain. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy. Daddy. I always read that as dad. I don't know why. Probably because the internet has poisoned the word daddy to me now, and I just don't like saying it out loud <laughs> if I can help it, or else I'm making a joke. Uh, daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know. She's the only thing right now, the only thing that can fight the thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, will you look after this kid? Kath, look after this kid, will you? I will. Don't worry. Daddy! <laughs> daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Oh, no. I forgot about the dog. Chad, I forgot about the dog. Oh, uh, uh, twist that twist the fucking knife, Parasite Eve. Uh, can I show this boy the dog? Sure. Let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. Is it like Shiva or Shiva? I think it's Shiva. Oh, she. Oh, Shiva. No. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> that tickles. Oh, chat. 
chat, something bad happens to the dog. I'm letting you know now. YouTube, I'm letting you know now. Something bad happens to this dog. skate how many times do I gotta tell you we blocked this off you want to find a cat on the street I told you I already contacted the police about this matter what uh I'm not getting anywhere with my English I, you're speaking fine hey are you hey you Chinese no I, I'm Japanese no uh I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna do that. Uh oh yeah, so you can speak Japanese. Uh he says something in Japanese. Uh I am a uh, Kuniko Ma Ma Maeda. Uh Japanese or uh Hey, if you can't speak this if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. What the fuck? It was the nineties, chat. It was the nineties. Oh, he's about to turn into a goo. Uh, calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. I'm not getting. Uh, I'm getting. I'm. I'm hot. Chat is so hot. He's so hot. Chat. Oh no. Guess it's now or never. Yeah, Maeda. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. so many cutscenes. we're probably gonna wrap up after the chat because we're gonna start a whole nother new section here where hospital Hospital? Where? Oh. Sorry about some of the background noise there, chat. Um, oh, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm uh, Kuniko Mieda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. <gasps> Daniel. There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but the rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. Actually, no. <laughs> they didn't disappear. They did not disappear. Do you mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and came one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like that happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. He will. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? Every anytime that the name Eve comes up, I is incredibly it's just incredulous. The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. Oh. After acquiring the scientist's sperm. Um, so I'm going to hit a timeout here. This is a very nice... So what Maeda is talking about is there is a book. This game is based off of a book 
called Parasite Eve. Um, it's like a sci-fi horror book. It's very hard to come by now. Um, because uh, I tried to. After we were playing this game last year, I was really into the story. I wanted to read the book. So the book, um, published in Japan, not a lot of uh, exposure to it here. So copies of Parasite Eve, the original book, are like $300. They're like $300. <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted to buy it. I could not justify spending $300 on the book. Um, but in the, you know, what he's talking about is the book. Um, and acquiring the scientist's sperm is just the nicest possible way of phrasing what happens in the book to the scientist. Um, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the liver cells, couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl, and Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. You'll have to just read the book, Daniel. Or the movie adaptation that is, uh, I think, in, it, free in its entirety on YouTube, and it's also very disturbing. And, uh, yeah. But there is a there's a Japanese film adaptation of the book. There is a book, and the book is $350. Um, hi, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. I thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being... You felt like you are about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? It's everybody. What? 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 I, I don't understand. I think I may be a monster. Like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if what if I end up killing you? Ah, uh, shut up. You know that's not. Don't be upset. Shut up. Uh, please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just, just stay away from me. Aya. Aya, please. Oh, Aya is saying please. It's not Aya, please. My bad. Sorry, chat. Reading is hard. Um, yes, I understand your point. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? I'm going to walk really slowly around this trash barrel, this fire barrel. Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. If I, I could never forgive myself if I killed you. Uh, you're no monster. You're the protagonist of the game. You're my best partner, Aya. <laughs> you're my best partner, Aya Brea. I'll always be her side. Always, Aya. Now, don't forget to open this chest over here. <laughs> this game is fun. I really would. I I would love for. I know there's um, there's a group out there right now that's like taking old Square games and adding voice acting to them. I would love for them to do this game next. Because I think that's really the only thing that keeps this game from being, like, perfect for me. Is that, like, when I'm doing it on stream, I have to read so much out loud. Um, when I touched Eve, that feeling. Was it Maya? But Maya died in a car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. I love that their names are Maya and Aya Brea. <laughs> so, Aya has a sister named Maya. Day 3, Selection. Uh, we saved progress. Yes. All right, chat. So we are actually about 
if I remember correctly, there's a couple of things that we have to do. Um, we're pretty close to like where we were. Let's do one more safety save because we are paranoid about saves. Awesome. Uh, let's swap over chat. Chat, my sweets. Hi, guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I love this game. I think it's a great game. I think that it is like criminally underrated when it comes to like that golden era of survival horror. Like when like Resident Evil happened and like that whole era, this game is like criminally underrated and we're going to play it all the way through. Um, I believe we're kind of at a weird point right now and I don't think I'll be able to do it this time, but what will probably happen is I will do off screen grinding like I do sometimes with Pokemon games uh, during this. So don't be surprised if not next time, but maybe time after next, like Thursday, the level discrepancy is a little weird because I might do some grinding because of obviously what happened last time we played. Um, with that being said, hey, YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate it. Remember to do those things that YouTube like to do. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Remember, you can join the Discord. And most importantly, remember to take care of yourselves. And I will see all of you later, okay? Bye-bye.